more than 90% of the candidates don't get a call back for the role that they had applied for. Do you want to know why? Stay till the very end and I'm going to share five things the hiring managers hate the most. Number one, they hate the messy or untidy resumes. So the hiring managers have very little time to accept or reject a particular resume. So keep your resume very, very clear. Keep it concise. Use bullet points. And uh, most importantly, keep the right spacing between two bullet points to make them more readable. Number two, do not put your photo in the resume. Nobody wants to see how good you look. Your entire candidature depends on what kind of experience you bring to the table. Number three, Writing objective statements like seeking a challenging position in a company never cuts the ice. I repeat, it never cuts the ice. Instead, do favor to the hiring manager. Write a summary so that if the hiring manager doesn't have too much time to see your entire resume, they can quickly read through the summary and check if your, your work experience or your resume matches with the job description or not. Number four, they don't want to see a one-size-fits-all resume. Every so this is the biggest mistake an applicant can, can make while they are applying for a job. If the resume doesn't match with the job description of the role that is on offer, then it is highly unlikely that you are going to get a shortlist. They don't want to see any fancy stuff, any fancy fonts. Okay, why? Because it kind of distracts the hiring manager when they are reading the entire resume. Besides, before a hiring manager or a human eye reads your resume, they are going to be read by or ranked by an application tracking software and that software is only going to read the text. So no, no fancy stuff, just make a clean resume which can be easily understood and easily read by the hiring uh, manager. A lot of people, at least what I see is that they make a mistake in choosing the right formats or the right templates in the resume. If you want to see how to choose the right template, I will cover that in the next video. If you want me to cover any specific points or any specific topic that is regarding resume, that is regarding interviews or anything that has to do with career skills, please let me know in the comment box. I would be happy to cover all of those topics in our video series on this YouTube channel.